In this video, brewery CIP. It's important that you're using the right amount of caustic, but are you using too little or too much? Let's get brewing and find out. My name is Hendo and I'm from Rockstar Brewer. I give brewers like you the tools they need to make amazing beer. If you want to know more about that, hit me up on the website. And if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. When it comes to your brewery's CIP, how do you make sure that you've got the right amount of caustic in your CIP solution? Do you measure or do you just guess? If you guess, write guess below. And if you measure, write measure below. This week's question comes from Greg and Minky James and they write, G'day Hendo. How about one, titrating caustic cleaning solution to determine if it's still active or two, cone to cone yeast pitching? Cheers, Greg and Minky James. Well, to answer the second part of your question, if you want to know more about cone to cone yeast repitching, we've got a course coming up about that really soon as part of the Rockstar Brewer Mastermind. If you want to know more about the Rockstar Brewer Mastermind, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. When brewers talk about CIP in the brewery, what they mean is that an acronym which means clean in place. And clean in place basically means to be able to clean a brewery without pulling apart the equipment. So we clean it in situ or clean in place. As you know, brewers are really meticulous about CIP. We clean everything, whether it's tanks, bright beer tanks, kegs, brew houses, pretty much every surface that we want to clean, we always clean in place. And that's because we're pretty fastidious about microbiological issues in our beer and making sure that our beer is made as best as we possibly can. When you're using caustic as part of your brewery's CIP regime, it's important that you use the right amount of caustic so that you're cleaning your equipment effectively. Brewers mix caustic with water to create a CIP solution. Now, sometimes this CIP solution uh, is stored in a CIP cart or a CIP set, and sometimes we make it up in the bottom of a, say, something like a uni tank. But it's really important that you get the concentration of your caustic right and you should always refer to your cleaning chemical manufacturer to get their guidance around what's the correct concentration for your caustic. Now the caustic part of your brewery caustic is simply sodium hydroxide. It's a great chemical that on its own can break down organic compounds like yeast and trube and that sort of thing uh, in order to clean a stainless steel surface. But on its own, it can have some limitations. And that's why your chemical supply company will actually make you what's called a built caustic. And a built caustic contains sodium hydroxide and some other chemicals in order to help do the job of cleaning more effectively. But what us brewers actually call caustic is actually a mixture of chemicals made by our chemical supply company that do a specific cleaning job. The complementary chemicals in a built caustic usually made up of sequestration agents, wetting agents, EDTA, lots of different things in addition to sodium hydroxide. These complementary chemicals achieve a number of different functions like helping the caustic to absorb into organic compounds or wetting a surface so it wets evenly or it can assist with rinsing. Because you dilute your built caustic with water to make your CIP solution and that there's these complementary chemicals in your built caustic, it's important to seek guidance from your chemical supplier about the recommended free caustic concentration range. So when we talk about a caustic's efficacy, how effective it is, we're not actually talking about how active it is, but rather the concentration of free caustic in your CIP solution. Free caustic is basically a measure of the amount of sodium hydroxide in your CIP solution. Too little free caustic and you're probably not going to clean your vessel very effectively. Too much and you're just wasting chemicals and wasting money. So how do you know you've got the right amount of free caustic? A typical range for a concentration of a caustic in a CIP solution is about 2-4% to free caustic. And when they say free caustic, they're talking about the amount of sodium hydroxide in your CIP solution. Take a look at this drum of caustic chemical. It says the amount of sodium hydroxide in it is only 30 to 60%. Let's assume with this particular chemical, a halfway concentration of about 45% sodium hydroxide. So if you wanted to make a 3% caustic CIP solution, 
It's actually not three litres of this chemical and 97 litres of water. That would only give you a free concentration of 1.35%, which is well under the manufacturer's recommendation. For this particular chemical, uh, to make a 3% free caustic solution, you would actually need to add about 6.5% of this chemical by volume with water to make a 3% free caustic solution. To dose in your caustic at a straight percentage rate, so 3% caustic equaling 3 litres of caustic and 97 litres of water, is actually underdosing the free caustic concentration in your CIP solution because you're assuming that 100% of your built caustic solution from your chemical supplier is sodium hydroxide. And that's simply not the case. If you're dosing up your CIP solution in this manner, it means that you're actually underdosing the amount of caustic in your CIP solution, and your caustic's therefore too weak and won't be effective in cleaning your tanks. But rather than guessing as to the amount of caustic chemical that you need to add to water to create the right free caustic concentration, uh, in your CIP solution, how do you actually accurately measure the amount of free caustic in your CIP solution? Well, there's a couple of ways you can do it. Firstly, you can use titration by using something like this brewette. By titrating your CIP solution to a known pH, you can calculate the free caustic concentration. A good chemical supplier will also give you a titration kit for free, much like these ones you're looking at now. The other way you can measure the free caustic concentration in your CIP solution is by conductivity. Conductivity meters are pretty common in larger breweries where a CIP set is used. Most good pH meters are actually also conductivity meters, but I don't advise that you use your pH meter to test for the concentration of your caustic in your CIP solution. Most breweries operate their pH meters in the acid range below a pH of 7 where if you're going to measure caustic, it's going to be above pH of 7. And by going from acid to base to acid to base, your pH meter probe uh, can get damaged over time because they're quite a delicate piece of equipment. So rather than risking damaging your delicate pH meter, consider using titration or a conductivity meter that's dedicated to the task of dealing with caustic as a way to measure free caustic in your CIP solution. So does caustic lose its activity over time? And can you reuse caustic? Well, yes, you can. It's very common in breweries to recover caustic and to reuse it time and time again. But the key thing around that is that you continually measure the amount of free caustic in your CIP solution to make sure that it remains in the manufacturer's range to give you effective cleaning. When you stick to your chemical manufacturer's free caustic recommended range, you'll ensure that you'll be cleaning your tanks quickly and effectively. And this will save you many hassles down the road. Thanks for your question, Greg and Minky. I really appreciate it. If you've got a professional brewing question that you'd like answered, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Cheers.